Thanks for clicking that link. So today's video, we're gonna go over our camper van setup. Now we're camping with the van, but not in the van, right? So we're gonna do a couple cool things I wanna share with you guys. In my previous video, I went through the camper van setup, but it was Bisbee and I on a solo trip. In this video, we're gonna go through our camping van setup. And by the difference of that, I mean is we set up like a really cool base camp area. We equip the van differently. We set it up totally differently than we do for when we're sleeping in the van. Cool thing about when we're not sleeping in the van is it opens up the opportunity for much, much more storage. Camping with the camper van, but not in it. Stick around, hope you enjoy this video. Okay, yeah, so I can post the dimensions on this too in the link in the description. So this is the Coleman Camp Kitchen, and we'll show you this later when we get it set up. Camp. All right, there again, the old dresser tote, and she is perfectly packed, ready for action. And it's nice because it's on wheels, so we can pull it out. Right, it just slides in and out. Get it under here. Okay, so using the bed frame as a storage solution allows us to have our dressers just right there. And then we'll have more room in here to load our stuff. We got our camp kitchen here. Now we'll still have some stuff on the side here. Yeah, you can see we still got some good storage under there that we can. So one of the things that we've done that's really helped when we're camping is keep our things in totes. And we found that totes are definitely the best way to organize your camp supply. Tell them about your camp pack. I'm gonna use this, I cleaned it out, and I'm gonna put water in it and use it as a hand washing station. Yep. So this is a great little hack I thought of to be able to wash your hands at the campsite. Yeah. Okay, so here's a kitchen tote that was working on. As you can see, it's got all our kitchen stuff nice and packed away. Having a yoga mat on a campsite don't be afraid to get it, that you're not afraid to get dirty. Okay. I find them at the thrift store brand new all the time, so yes, thrifter. <laughs> at the Dollar Tree, just, just little drawers. And put our shoes in it, just kind of keep it organized. And they fit nicely under our, under our bed there. Nice, tacked in there. All right, yeah, so be careful with this because the sheet metal is really soft. And I try to really put my weight on these crossbars on the side of the bars, not on the sheet metal. So. Guilty comfort double wide right here. Yeah, baby. If it's two humans, two built in blankets, I'm gonna go over this in the setup. 
Are you excited? Yes, because uh, last time we went camping, I was very, very cold. Yeah, we've been skimping on our sleeping bags. Yes, so this time we stepped up to the plate and purchased a nice sleeping bag for the both of us to fit in. It's gonna and be really hopefully awesome. the dog. And then with the ladder there is like a little headache rack for Biz. What do you think, buddy? You ready to go camping? <laughs> Lil Bisbee did not want to go back in the house. He would rather be in the van. He did not want to go back in the house. All loaded up, fully kitted, hitting the road. I'm driving. All right, we're finally here. We made it to our campsite. Check this out, this is gonna be awesome. We are tent campers. So we do some tent glamping. Try to glamp our tent. Check this thing. Killer's in, sweeping the tent now. Check it out, we got a hinge door. This thing is no joke, we'll get the rain fly up here in a minute. We got a super cool patio area right here. Let me get this all open. So, we take you on the camp tour. Check it out over here, Kelly's little washing station. So we got our washing station here where we can wash our hands. The tent all set up. I'll take you inside the tent in a second. I just want to show you the rest of the camp. I brought horseshoes. And we even have grill in our campsite. We have a steak. So we got our own private little horseshoe pit right here. Yeah, that's right. Then over here, we got our hammock. Now this was a gift from my sister. And we set up our solar lights. 
for later tonight. Hey, come inside our tent. Kelly's making some lunch in there. This campsite's a rat. You got barbecue pits, fire pits, nice tables. Okay, there's that yoga mat I was talking about, along with some carpets. Let's see. Bisbee's inside here waiting. Our new Kilty sleeping bag. Bisbee's breaking in for us. All right, lots of space. Welcome to our camp, huh? Yep. <laughs> well, and this is the Coleman Camp Kitchen. Um, and you can see it really makes good sense to have in your camp setup. Really good. And got the eco, eco flow down here generating some fan. Heck yeah. Also use that to inflate our mattress. Inflatable mattress. Why don't you tell us why we have two coolers here, Kelly? And it'll keep your food a lot cooler if you have two separate coolers. Your drink cooler and your food cooler. Okay. So yeah, have two separate coolers. Yeah. One for beverages and one for foods. Yep. That way when you're getting in your beverages, you're not letting cold air out of your food cooler. Correct. Awesome. Really like how these turn into a room. You can zip it off. These do close up. You can zip these up. It does make it really well ventilated. It's really nice, really comfy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for a good sight. So yeah, we're gonna get some lunch going. I'm hungry after all this yeah, traveling and camping. Mm -hmm. So another hack on the cooler, use the permafrost on the top. And fill up water jugs, freeze Foods. them. Freeze your waters. Freeze it. Here's our salad fixings and our macaroni and cheese. And then another hack is I just put our eggs in here for scrambled eggs tomorrow morning. Nice. It doesn't take up as much room as those egg holders. <laughs> right, they're packing around eggs and worry about breaking them. Yeah. Just go ahead and crack them up, throw them in a bottle. Gonna be scrambled anyway. I'm taking too long and letting all this cold air. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So. Homemade bread. Our homemade buns I love to make. And I made a homemade chicken salad for our sandwiches. And then my homemade crackaroni salad, we call it. Mm, it's so good. <laughs> it's a surefire sign of summer when the right. macaroni salad shows up or crackaroni salad because you can't stop at one bowl <laughs> mm, you'll just and then it. later tonight we'll show you i made tacos so all i have to do is heat up the taco meat and throw it together cool i'm excited yeah it's gonna be fun all right Bye, guys <laughs> just last week we were here that's a sight i wish we could have gotten 33. good to have you Rad. All right, so we're headed to the dog beach. Come on with us. This is gonna love this. I'm gonna get his harness off. He's just gonna go straight to the water. Right All right, there's the dog beach sign. And there's the dog in the beach. Dog beaching. Waves. 
Check it out. It's taco time. So you did all the meal prep at home. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Got everything right here, all ready to go. Sauces. Nice, you got your camp kitchen stuff there, huh? Little sink there. Just little condiment dishes. They're actually for baby food. But check them out. They like stack on each other. I highly recommend <laughs> See if you can find some of these little baby food dishes. Great for condiments. We got sour cream, taco sauce, all our goodies in there. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. And voila. Eating tacos in the tent. Tent tacos. How's your tent taco? Good. It's freaking delicious. Bisbee thinks they are amazing. He's in. He's in for tent tacos. Yeah. Right, so I got the Ego Flow over here. I got a charge and a GoPro battery, DJI controller, and my cell phone. And it aired up our air mattress. And it's still at 87%. Alright, so our night setup. Our porch lights. And the tent is glowing awesomely. Hey Kelly, what's your horse's name? Paisley. Paisley. This is shotgun. shotgun. Yeah. Pretty stoked. Horseback riding. Stanley. Okay, this is Bisbee after a day of hiking and swimming. <laughs> anyway, okay, so tonight camp recipe: butter, garlic, herb, steak, foil packets. Check these bad boys out. Oh my goodness. And there again, you prepped us all in advance before we left. Yeah. So it's just kind of a matter of throwing it together. We had the meat frozen. Mm -hmm. And uh, so everything stayed cold. And we just throw it together. And out here, I got the barbecue briquettes going on the grill. And they're heating up. I'm super stoked. It's going to be a delicious dinner. Up. Mm -hmm. Let's get down on these bad boys. Mm -hmm. 
and get one more little camp tour this morning before we start tearing stuff down. We had a blast over here with the horseshoe pit. Played multiple games. For the record, Kelly did kick my butt. <laughs> Wash station hack, highly recommend this hack for camping, especially if you've got water around. And it even warms up in the sun, and at the end of the day, it's nice warm water. It's awesome. Lawn chair over here. Another hammock over here. Shady trees. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but last night, I tried to get some good footage of our night setup. Dome light inside really lights up the tent, porch lighting. Really nice when you're climbing out if you have to do some business at night. You can see putting the rugs down really makes a big difference in here. Got our camp kitchen with our Coleman coffee maker. This thing just brews the best camp coffee you'll ever get. Mm -hmm. Yep, the views open up. Gilly and Bisbee out there playing. Uh, this new Kilty bag. This new Kilty bag was freaking awesome. Love how you can like tuck your pillows in there and you see we had pillows under it, but then we tuck these pillows in here and it was just super warm, super comfy. Room for two adults and a dog. Pretty nice, pretty stoked. Anyway, so good morning from camp and uh, I hope you guys can find some good useful information in this video to help you out on your next camping trip.